Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am here to discuss a new topic called performance analytics. So performance analytics is nothing but uh, to collecting the historical data and representing in a good way. So because that we have a report module, right? So this is the uh, over advantage of um, reports because performance analytics is help you to show the data in a different way uh, from the historical and past data. Okay. So let's see how we can see. So suppose you have created one, uh, uh, this is the module first of all, let me tell you that. So for performance analytics, you have to type the performance analytics, this is the complete application. And uh, in this application, the most important thing is the automated, in, uh, the indicator. So indicator is in three types of indicator available, automated, manual and formula. So I'll show you that how we can do uh, without uh, wasting our time, I'll show that how we can do one by one. Okay. So first you have to be create that automated indicator before that you need to be create that indicator source okay and then uh, let's create an indicator source for example our case we are going to uh, collect the incident information okay so let's do so i'll create a new indicator source uh, which will be collect all the incident which is right now active okay so i'll create that incident active so this is my all the incident which is active i'll pull that the information the the frequency will be daily or you can uh, define the frequency so quickly i am choosing the daily you can have the different different options and this is the table where i am going to pull the data so our case we are going to incident table and condition will be active true so what will we do this indicator source will be run daily and collect that uh, incident details whatever is active true okay let's save that indicator source so this indicator source is created but this indicator source uh, need another things called uh, the performance job so without job it will not be pull daily or not be pull the data so we need to be create some job so that it can be run daily and it can be we can be do, uh, collect that historical data okay so we'll uh, create that one so that's the one thing let's first we created the indicators indicator source right so this is our indicator source called incident active. So which is nothing but um, a call we are querying the incident table which is active true. Let's go to the automated indicator now. So I told that first step is that create an indicator and second step is that create an automated indicator to pull the information. So creating a new automated indicator So that indicator we are will put the indicator source so that we can gap the data. Paste here the indicator source. Okay. And then here we will put that so this is all about that. And now if you go to that um, this frequency also daily because you are already choosing the indicator source frequency is daily. Okay. Now unit should be in uh, days. I think no. So these are the um, units that you can choose that. So I'll choose the days. In the additional condition if you want to put any additional condition you can put that like assignment group is these or those so those are the things are um, additional things but for the time being uh, you can see that our indicator source is ready okay okay so let's save that one so our indicator is ready and the indicator source was also created 
which is going to be collect all the incident active I think somehow not taking that I think in the same name it was created let's try to submit and see yeah so see you can see our new indicators is created for incident active new okay second thing is that we have to do we have to be create that one job so that it can pull all these um, data so that is under uh, sys auto pa or you can see scroll down there are a module call jobs data collect job so we need to be create one jobs using that job we will create the data okay so first we will create one data called uh, historical data which will actually pull all the information it last one year or two year okay this team data and this will be uh, pull that last one year data so we have to choose that month ago is 12 month and it will be run on on demand so whenever we require it will be created one is another one is the daily time data and this will be one day ago so we created two historical data to pull the information this will be daily and incident state so we created two schedule job our uh, data collection job we can say our uh, daily temp and daily um, historical temp so we need to be add those two data in two historical or two data collection job into this indicator okay okay so our indicator is almost ready so what we have done we created an indicator source we created an indicator we created um two schedule job or schedule data collection job so that collect the data okay now we have to on once your data is moved to the production you need to be run this 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 will be automatically run every day and this will be you need to be run to collect the information historical data so let's execute now this is on demand because uh, you can see this is the on demand data we have created right so we need to be manually execute this one and this is the job log collecting with the error we can open the error and see that what error we are getting it says the indicator source is not present not processing indicator so there is some issues let's see i think it says that indicator source is not present see somehow we created that data without the indicator source so let's put that one okay and save that somehow it's removed so it is saved i think now we can execute now so you can also troubleshoot that what is happening by seeing these logs and all those stuff so we right now we run and it is collected okay and now if we go to the indicator source this is historical data right let's see game this is the daily one we collected the daily we need to be run that historical data so let's go back to that and run execute that historical data because uh, we don't need that one data we need that uh, all this historical data what is happening in the past okay 
so it will be start collecting the data you can see it is start collecting and continue uh, start inserting in this system take some time I think let's refresh that one normally we used to take that historical data for last 12 years uh, sorry last 12 month like one year so it is done so now if we click that um, maybe we can refresh that one our schedule job is uh, collect that all the information so now we can see the data that whatever uh, for this indicator just click the score for this indicator will show this the details of this indicator so whatever it's collected okay score for this indicator and it will be open that one page So this is the uh, score you can see uh, showing all like the daily like in that March uh, May 24 it was because it's my out of box it's because nobody is inactive so you can see that daily uh, it's showing that way right uh, that 38 is the actual data okay now this information we can represent in a um, dashboard okay so let's quickly create a dashboard so the module name is p underscore dashboards we can create a dashboard and we can add this indicator to get the data okay so I'm creating one dashboard here. Rohit dashboard. And you can see the dashboard. Once this dashboard is created, you can see that by clicking that view dashboard. Now, this indicator or automated indicator we cannot be directly added to our what I call uh, into the dashboard okay we need to be convert this dashboard or this indicator to a widget so that we can attach that okay so let's go to the performance analytics so these are the count which is actually you can see this uh, you can put the average and all those stuff but this is the count of the incident which is um, active okay now we need to be create one widget and this widget needs to be attached with this automated indicator source to represent the data okay so I think it's taking some time so let's create a widget here call incident active new put this here and this is that this is the options or, or how you want to see this uh, data okay so we'll see the time series and this is line chart like this is the uh, the way how you want to represent that uh, data right so we'll put that way so created these widgets called incident active and this need, that will will add into our performance analytics dashboard we created that dashboard called Rohit dashboard and we'll add to our dashboard click the plus sign go to the performance analytics and put that filter 
time series add so once we add that it will show that uh, dashboard in a line OEM it will take some time to reflect the data might be I'll quickly show that so let me repeat that steps what are the steps you need to perform for this uh, adding uh, one automated indicator to your dashboard first create a automatic um, indicator source create a indicator create a data collection job and then create a widget and then uh, create a dashboard and attach so that's all about your data okay i think it's taking time it's not yet refreshed we can see that okay so there are various options we can also create some breakdowns so i'll tell that maybe let me refresh that page once more time quickly so you can see it's collecting that uh, or trying to uh, show the data so you can see uh, this 38 all over this uh, from march to see you can see it is showing so that's why we are not able to see the actual graph because this is the out of box but here is the time series you can change that one where there are various options available to because you can see it's showing i think daily it is showing the daily right march two three four five you can see the daily graph instead of that if you want to uh, change that graph looks like instead of daily if you want to change that you can do that stuff also let's quickly see okay so we can seven days running some you can save that and see how it looks like okay let's refresh that so you can see it is collecting that or adding that seven days data okay so that's why it's showing the 226 so all about that because of i'm using that out of box i cannot show the proper data because i have not inactive any data till now so it's showing that but if you want to change that um, time series and all those stops you can see you can change that uh, like score like that only also like latest score and put that indicator name so it will be changed that so instead of lion series it can be changed in a different way let me save and show you so that's how the total process for the automated indicator you can do okay let's save that So it is start adding that data. You can see it's showing. Okay. Com like instead of showing in the graph way, we can show in a single digit data. Okay. So basically, it depends on how you want to represent that. Okay. So that's all about that interactive. Um, like sorry that all about that automated indicator and that uh, performance analytics so if you want to go that formula uh, formula quickly i just show that formula indicator formula indicator is nothing but a combination of the automated indicator so if i open any quickly showing you so if i open this formula indicator formula indicator is combination of the automated indicator so there will be the formula so this is the this is the one of these automated indicator and this is the one of the automated indicator and here we are actually doing that for formula or where where we are actually collecting the data okay so these two are actually a automated indicator i am i'll quickly show that so that you can understand 
so go here search with that no I think it's not copy so this is the formula indicator I have to let's copy this and we'll see so whatever data will be present for this uh, uh, this automated indicator and this automated indicator will be collect do some calculation and represent that data so, so same process for there two, two automated indicator might be this case and one formula indicator and that needs to be attached to that widgets and then that needs to be attached into the dashboard so that's all about that one so thank you very much for watching my channel have a great day